Me cleaning my love, you guys to be cleaning too. It is you cleaning. Everybody says hey, say hey. Gotta push all my buttons. Moved out of town and I erased your number. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are just getting cleaned up for some company. We were kind of in a hurry, but I wanted to go ahead and get this living room, kitchen, and especially my boys' room cleaned up. So that's what you will see in this video. Also in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my sweet tea. So if you'd like to know how to do that, then just keep watching. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Where's it at? Oh, we ain't got the dishwasher stuff? Yeah, we do. It's down there. It's right there. It's white. Oh, I thought it was looking for the green stuff. <laughs> what kind is it? Uh, I guess seventh generation. Yep. So that's the kind you need if you want your dishes uh, sparkling. No. You need some dome. None in the dishwasher. You don't need no dome. All right, y'all, so while the rest of the kids and husbands are doing the rest of the chores, I'm going to make some tea. And this, as you can tell, this is not dirty. This is my designated little tea, what's it called? Teapot, I guess. Tea something. What's it called? A pot? A pot. A pot. Sure. This is my designated little teapot, but it's not really a teapot, but it's whatever this is. Okay, because you can tell by the tea stains in it, because this is what I use every single time. And this is my little tea jug that I use every single time. And first, if you want to make my tea, take this off. Sweet tea. My sweet tea. Good sweet tea. You fill it up. Um, I don't know, honestly, the exact amount. But if you have like a... Um, gallon size pitcher like this then you would need about this much water <laughs> that much water so maybe about I don't know a quart of water maybe yeah in your little pan and you're gonna put it on the thing go ahead and turn it on high and get it boiling and what I use is the Lipton, I always use Lipton, don't use that Louisiana or whatever it's called stuff. Don't use off brand. Always use this Lipton, Lipton iced tea, always. Okay, so. Okay, so then once it's boiling, you're going to add four tea bags. So, when it's boiling, we'll catch up. All right, y'all, so now we see it's boiling really good. So, we're gonna take our four Lipton tea bags, and this is my secret. I don't know how y'all would normally do yours, but this is my little take on making tea. What you do is, you tie them up like this, and then you put them in while it's boiling, turn it off, and remove it from the heat. And we're gonna let that sit there for about, uh, about six minutes, six, seven minutes. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and add the sugar into my pot. I add, not in my tea, I add two cups of sugar. One cup. Two cups. All right, y'all. So while I had the tea in the tea pitcher um, steeping, I was going to go ahead and go into my kids' room. On this day, we had family coming over, and they're room was obviously a disaster it <laughs> gets dirty so fast I don't know but I was just gonna go in and not really do a deep clean I wouldn't normally clean like this but just get it 
basically tidied up before we had company come over. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time. Bye y'all.